Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to Stormworks. We're in episode 8 at the moment, and I am tasked with bringing a rig worker, um, correction, three rig workers from the airport over to an oil rig. We're still operating with the Deepwater Horizon, and I added a couple of floats to the back of the boat to make it a little bit more stable. I have plenty of fuel. Um, we're not really using that much because I have two gearboxes currently turned on. And with that, I should be making this run fairly easily. 2.2 and I have 1103 liters of fuel. So let's see what it's going to be at 1.2. I'm expecting it to be uh, 1090, something like that. That should do it. Yeah, pressing the um, holding E to the connector, it just tethers you to the connector. And it sort of drags it behind you instead of picking it up. For me, it was more difficult to get the connector, so the fuel connector, to the actual fluid port or the fluid connector. So yeah, I did try that, but I just was not able to get it to work properly. Nice and smooth sailing here. Very nice. 1.4. Yeah, we're at about 1.90. So we're losing losing or using about 16 liters of fuel per kilometer. So with 1,000 liters of fuel, we should have more than enough to get to where we need to go. Because with 1,000 and, let's say, 1,050 liters of fuel divided by 16, you come to 65 kilometer range. So we should be fine. Unfortunately, though, this island, this airport, does not really have a dock. Or at least not one that I've been able to discern. So we're just going to have to bring these guys onto the boat by walking up the side of the island. As annoying as that is. Ideally, I'd be tackling multiple missions at once, by the way. Because ideally, I'd have, for example, a mission which is uh, pick up these people and drop off this cargo. That would save me quite a bit of time. Because then I could have the cargo on board and drop it off on the way to bring the person aboard, for example. And again, this is one of those missions that you would really want a helicopter to do. Oh, I came to the wrong side of the island. Okay, fine. You could even bring an airplane. But for some reason in career, it seems that airplane parts unlock really, really late. You have to do a ton of missions to actually get the parts that you need. The meanwhile, I'm on the lookout for loot crates. Uh, nothing there. Alright, you, you, and you. Let's go. On the other side of the door, preferably. Thank you. One, two, three. Good. Now we get to walk all the way back to the boat. Helicopter would just land very close to that, pick them up, bring them back home. Or bring them to the oil rig. It'd be a mission that would probably last about 8 minutes. Right now, it's going to last quite a bit more than that. Probably more than 15, I think. So that's why I'm very eager to bring a helicopter into my game. Oh, you have to be shitting me. Why do these guys not follow me around? It's like sometimes they get stuck on something and they just go, No, we'll just be fine here. Come on. You and you. With me. Make it fast.
Because I'm going very fast. Yeah, that's probably the problem. I think my boat should be right about down here. Yep. Okay, I hope you guys are not afraid of heights, because we're going down. No, they're not afraid of heights. <laughs> just do what the other monkeys do. Oh, and now you don't want to follow me on board? You're just going to float? Right. It's like when those characters, those NPCs, get a shock to their system. They just stop doing whatever they should be doing. And they don't really do too well on ladders either. Okay, let's get to the other rig. You may start your engines, and off we go. Full ahead flank, speed 52, fuel looking good. Off to the rig. There is the medium island in the way, let's not crash into that. I really hope that we're also going to find the refinery island. Although, well, it's possible that it's down here, but not very likely. Because usually oil rigs are quite isolated. Alright. So chat, how do you... How are you getting on, on your game? What have you been building? What's your most successful creation? Either be a helicopter, a ship, a plane, whatever. Because so far for me, I find that helicopters are by far the most agile and the most mission-capable platforms. Much, much more so than boats. Helos can just get fast, they can get far, uh, they can pick up people, they can put out fires... And especially in one of the missions, you need to bring people to a hospital and put down fires. You can do that with a helo. You could not do that with a boat. Or at least, I have not been able to do that with a boat. Five clicks out. Alright, since we're waiting, I recently got a couple of uh, SO cards. In case you're not familiar with those, those are cards that you use to start a conversation. And since we're waiting anyway... Um, yeah, here's one. What's your favorite dish and what memories do you have associated with it? And especially since we have people watching from all over the world, what is your favorite dish and what are your memories of it? What sort of memories do you have associated with it? I'd say my favorite dish, um, depending on if you want to make it a dish or not, would be pizza. And uh, <laughs> I have one memory associated with it. Back when I was, I think, 12 or 13, I um, was still doing judo on Friday evenings, I think around 6. So that's 6 p.m. Uh, no, 7 actually, 7, because I would be usually eating at 6. So. I'd have judo at 7, and um, Friday afternoon was usually, for school-wise, not a very busy day, so I would be home uh, pretty timely. I'd say by about 3. And I would take a uh, frozen pizza out of the freezer, let it thaw on uh, the kitchen counter, put it in the oven, and then go off to judo. Exactly. I know it's a perfect combination. Um... We had a dog, and this dog was a little... Well, how should we put this? He was keen on self-exploration. And he was no stranger to stealing things from the kitchen counter. So at some point, I came out of the uh, basement, where the computer was at that time, to put my pizza in the oven. And the pizza was gone. So... 
keep in mind, this was a frozen pizza. And it was just gone. And the only thing that I was able to find at the place where the dog was usually just lying was a bit of plastic, which is the wrapping of the frozen pizza. And the dog was looking both quite content and a little guilty. So I knew exactly where my pizza went. <laughs> and uh, of course I had to go to the store and get another pizza. It was all fine, but yeah. Um, <laughs> that was an interesting memory. <laughs> the dog ate the pizza. I was not too happy with the dog at that point, but it does make for a good story now. And back when I was uh, living with my parents, that's, let's say, till age 18, I'm almost 31 now. We had pizza occasionally, but not nearly as much as I would want. So I'd... Um, when I went off to study and live by myself, I could, of course, dictate what I would eat. Well, let's just say that there were quite a few pizzas on the menu. I would usually limit it to once per week, um, and usually not even that, once per two weeks or three weeks even. But yeah, that was pizza. And I almost became, um, I suppose you could call it a pizza chef as a side job too. Because at some point that I was looking for a job, uh, next to studying of course, and one of these part-time jobs was where, uh, well, there was a pizza place very, very close to where I lived at the time. And I had the choice between either going to do that or become a store clerk at a supermarket. Eventually, I went with store clerk, but um, there was an opening for pizza maker at the pizza place. So I could have learned how to become a pizza chef as a part-time job. <clears throat> Didn't actually go for it. I think I could have learned quite a bit on that job too. Anyway, we are at the oil rig. Let's see where... I think this is the part where I need to get up. With the inspectors. Slow it down. Oh, 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 oh. Don't want to make too big a hole in my boat. Because I have seen what can happen. And it is generally not pleasant. Okay, off the ship. No? Okay. I'm gonna have to manually get these guys up the ladder, I guess. You learned English from me, really? That's nice. Because I'm not even a native speaker. I am absolutely not a native speaker. Well, here's the thing. I'm not a native speaker, but I did get a lot of English practice throughout my life. Um... I already mentioned that when I was one year old, I lived in uh, Algeria for, I think, a year or something like that. Because my dad was there on business. And when I was three years old, we moved to New Zealand. Which is, of course, an English-speaking country. And uh, age three slash four is where you start to really pick up languages. So I went to an English kindergarten... And apparently, at some point, my dad found me as I was looking for something. And we even have this on video, too, where he asks me if I can find whatever it is I'm looking for. And instead of replying in Dutch, I reply in English. And I say, yeah, dad, I'm fine. Something like that. So, um, I picked up English at a very young age. Oh, sorry. Well, at least you got to live to the old platform, and I got the mission done. I started speaking English at a very young age. Um, started watching Star Trek when I was nine years old. So that was a lot of English as well. And went on to do bilingual high school, which means that you got half your classes in English. So, um, geez, another Fisher person, really? Fine. Um... Half my classes were in English. I'm not doing that. That's too far away. And with that, it was... Well, it was fairly uh, quick to pick up English. I mean, you had to, or you just couldn't follow your courses. 
So that's how I got my leveling English. You want me to transport more of these guys? This time around we're going the other way? Yeah, no. Judging by the past missions that we got done, this got me the gyro, which I need for a healer. This got me another tail rotor. This got me a stretcher and another tail rotor. Another gyro and a large rotor. So I can now build a helo. I just don't have too many tail rotors. I'm going to get myself a helicopter. So we're going to get to the helo base. That's quite far. Uh, start your engines. Oh, although I don't really have... Uh, I'm not sure if my medium rotor is going to be enough to drive that thing. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to do this mission anyway. Anyway, um, as we're traveling, let's get another so card. More topics of conversation. Um, oh, this is a good one. I'd like you guys to answer this one. What type of person are you least likely to become friends with? What person are you least likely to become friends with? And why, of course. What about that person would it be that just completely turns you off? And of course, if you're not watching this thing live on stream, then you can also reply down below in the comments. I'm mostly using these cards as a conversation starter at meetups that I organize, but it can also function very well in a game mode like Stormworks, where you're going to be waiting for <laughs> a good portion or a good portion of the time as you're traveling from one point to the next. So what type of person are you least likely to become friends with? Lack of empathy. Okay. That's fair. And how does a lack of empathy uh, impact that? What is it about lack of empathy that you think, um, I don't want to have anything to do with that person? For me personally, I really struggle with people who are just completely inept at taking responsibility for their own actions. That is something that really, really quickly turns me off. Um, and it can be anything from something big to small. It can be something as small as people constantly shouting at the units in Wargame that they're not doing what that person wants them to be doing. Well, if your units are not doing what you want them to be doing, then there is a fair chance yeah, I know I'm selling to the mission, not the waypoint. I'm going to be doing the mission anyway. Um, if the person has units in Wargame which are not doing what he expects them to be doing, always, always, always check what you're doing wrong first. Not what that person is not doing, or what that unit is not doing. But it's these people who just really cling to the victim role. They're always victimized. They're always the underdog. They're always... Oh, you need to feel sorry for me. Um, maybe that puts me <laughs> in the category of uh, uh, lack of empathy, but 
Well, let's just say there is one person that immediately comes to mind. Or actually two people who immediately come to mind when I think, no, I would not be friends with that person. Oh, Sparky's here. Nice. Uh, Sparky, if you can join up on the Discord, I will bring you into the channel and the stream. Of course, I'm also going to have to pick up Sparky at some point. Uh, oh, he's over there, of course. He's going to be spawning right there. Oh, hold on. There's a vehicle out here? Oh, that must be one of the boats that I tipped over previous. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Anyway, there is one guy um, who's just constantly blaming everything else. Uh, one of them is my brother-in-law. Nothing is ever his fault. Nothing is ever his problem. And the whole world is out there to get him. Clearly. Because that's how the world exactly works. Absolutely not. Utter bullshit. Oh, hold on. This is the fuel location. This is the refinery island. Nice. So I can make very, very quick fuel runs. Okay. Uh, mission adjustment. We're going to buy this island. We're going to do a fuel run. But everything else is... With this brother-in-law of mine, nothing is ever his fault. Nothing is ever his problem. What's your favorite game of all time? Oh, that's a good one. Um, I'd have to say XCOM comes close. Oh crap, I'm going to have a lot of fuel in my hands here. Fine. I'll just park this boat here. XCOM 2 comes really close. I played and still play a lot of that game. Alright, you know what? I'm going to end the episode here. Um, and I'm going to have to host the game so Sparky can join in. Once that's going to be happening, I'm going to be starting up a new episode. And of course, you guys can follow me along with that. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching today. And I'll see you soon for the next episode. Of course, we're going to be continuing with the stream. Um, let me get this island for 15k. There we go. So I can make very, very cheap fuel runs. I can spawn a ship here, go there, bring it back here. Boom. Done. Alright, let me just save this. And go back to the menu. Hey, Sparky. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Oh, pretty good. Good stuff. Just let me know when you have it all set up and I'll join in. Yep. Alright, Whale, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. Butter. Oh, you're talking, about, uh, talking, talking to the stream, stream. actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, the game is up on multiplayer. Okay, Password I'll one two three. Yeah. Do you have an advanced boat that you can spawn in? Uh, it ha I do. They've got lots of parts. That's the only thing. Like, because in there, yeah, parts nothing that we that haven't I've unlocked made. yet, probably. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. So. Just one second. Oh, I'm slowing down the game, apparently. Yeah. It's probably just loading stuff in for you. I'll do 
it in M Seems to be stable enough now. Yeah. Second there now. Do you think you can build a boat? Because I'm um, quite far away and I could come pick you up, but I want to make a fuel run so we can have a bit more cash. It's really like Oh, actually, we don't have pumps yet. No, never mind. That's not going to work. Game is really laggy for me for some reason. Hmm. Oh, it's, yeah, it's really quite jumpy. That's weird. It's usually quite stable for you. Usually, yeah, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with it. Who's this person standing in our... Uh... It's another guy who uh, joined the stream at one point. Oh. I built a boat recently. In advance, that is. No, I didn't build it in advance mode, so. Well, you could um, try building one. I could, but I really don't know what I'm doing. Um. Yeah, this is lagging an awful lot for me. I'm going up to workbenches and pressing E and Q, and it's just not working for me. Really? Okay. Now it's now it's after going in there, but it wasn't for a while. Okay, let's see what I can. Why is this not full screen? Full, full screen. Seems to be still synchronizing the game somehow. Maybe I'll just leave it for a couple of seconds. If you're, is it all running okay? Uh, yeah, now it is. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it for, for a little while and just let it run. So you go do what you need to do, and, and I'll just wait and see sure. how long it takes yep. for. Alright, stream, so my plan was here to get the medium island, and with that, get a tanker. But if we want to get a tanker, then you're either going to have to loop a ton of fuel tanks together, or you're going to have to have pumps, and I don't have those. So I cannot yet build a fuel tanker. But at least we got the island. I'm going to do this uh, transport mission off-screen, so just on stream but I won't be recording it just to get some more parts maybe get enough stuff to build a helo Ooh. yeah we could really use one of those helicopter would be useful alright Is it still laggy on your end? Yeah, it's still like, it's really jumpy. Hmm. Um, I don't know why it's... Just as I said, let me let me leave it for like... Five minutes or so, and if it, if it doesn't work properly, then I'll just jump out and I'll jump back in again, and hopefully it'll yeah. sort itself out. Because sometimes it happens that like that, it just gets a bit laggy, and then it eventually sorts itself out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's just slowing down the game again. What yeah. is that today? Are you on a different internet connection than usual? Nope. I'm hmm. at home. In my house. Maybe it's uh, just because it's St. Patrick's weekend, you know. 
Well, actually, yeah, if more people are home, then that could be the problem. Yeah, it usually, um, usually, like, depends if when St. Patrick's Day falls, like, we have a bank holiday, so we obviously have Monday off. Yeah. But, um, like, some schools and stuff and, and some workplaces are off today as well, so. Right. Yeah, so you could have more internet usage in your area. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, just just leave it with me. I'll see what I can do. I'll back out the game at the moment, and I'll see if I can uh, sure. get it organized. I don't want to be I don't want to be slowing everything up on you either. Do we still have the issue with this game where um, like we can't have more than like two people in one server? Uh, no, that's not really a problem with the game. That was a problem with, I think, Rip's connection, or Sniper's connection. The game apparently slows down to the slowest internet speed that it can find. So okay. if you're all on something like DSL or, or better, then there's no problem. Yeah. But if you got just one person who's slow, then it slows down everybody. Okay. Here are we now? Stable. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's stable, except the island that we're on doesn't have, um, any, oh no, it does now. It didn't have any ground. There was no, like, ground what? floor. Oh, floor, still floor holding disappeared. that in? Yeah, okay. the other guy who is, is that Social Potato or something? Yeah, yeah, that's him. Yeah, he, uh, he's now underneath all the ground on the home island. I can't get him out. He's, you he's buried him? Around. I didn't bury him, he just, he ended <laughs> up. <laughs> all right. Okay, it seems to be okay now. Good. You do that mission and then come get me. I'll see what I can do with it. I'll yep. play around with the boats and stuff in the uh, in the editor and stuff like that. The advanced boats are fairly easy. Okay. Um, just start building. If you have any questions, give me a shout. Will do. I got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1 remastered on the PlayStation 4 for free because it's free for the month of March. And I got it, I was playing it like all of last week and it's <laughs> so much nostalgia. It's not even funny. So Which were nostalgia. the missions that you had in that one? Because I remember Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 1 was like all gillied up when you were crawling through Chernobyl and, and you had the sniper. You were the SAS and you had the sniper. You were yeah. to go and kill your man. Imran Zakayev or whatever, and then... Oh yeah, I did do that mission at some point. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's great. It's such a good game. Um, and the remastered version kind of makes it good as well, because it's, you know, it's brought it up to modern graphics and all that kind of stuff, and... Right. They've added a few small features into it. It hasn't really changed the game all that much, but it's just classic. Oh, I do it for the missions, of course. Mm. Well, what mission are you doing at the moment? Transfer oil rig inspectors. Oh. Another stuff. taxi, taxi, taxi mission. mission. I, I was never, I never knew the Coast Guard was such a valuable taxi service to the populations of where, we're, you know, Yeah, support. taxi and not just that, but we're also just constantly hauling stuff from point A to point B. Mm. 
I was looking forward to going out in really rough weather and rescuing guys who had fallen off ship or whatever. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. Or something. When I started out the stream, I lost three boats. Oh. Decided oh. to just restart it. That's not ideal. Also, uh, I don't know if you saw it, but they're bringing out the Halo, um, all the Halo games on PC. But the Halo games were on PC already. Were they? Well, maybe I not. They, all I know them, Halo but... One was definitely on PC. Yeah. But, uh, the other ones weren't, I don't think, and they're bringing them all out in like a remastered collection or whatever online. So. Another money grab. Probably, yeah, but I mean, nostalgia yet again. <laughs> yeah, that too. The amount of um, the amount of hours I wasted on Halo mm -hmm. of my youth. Not wasted, I suppose, but you know, Invested. probably could have been probably could have been studying or something. It's okay though, I'm not in the boat with you, so nothing could go wrong, because it's always me that tends to send things over oh, the edge. Oh, no, no, no. When I started this, I was bringing a boat out, flipped it over, brought another boat out, tried to hook it up to the connector, and the boat that was flipped over flipped straight, <laughs> and the tow boat flipped over. So, disconnected them, tried it again, and then both boats flipped over. So you were stranded? Yeah. I was stranded 300 meters from my base with no cash left. Good times. Great times. into the dock now. Into our dock? Yep. Okie doke. Where the heck's the fuel connector? How's your boat coming? Any luck? Uh, slowly but surely. 
It's just a um, moment. It's just a, a, a base, I suppose. I'm trying to figure out what way I'm going to go about doing it. Right. But it won't be taken. I'll, I'll pop it out in a few minutes and I'll let you have a look at it so sure. far. But I just want to get I want to get every all the basic stuff into it. So I do like obviously not obviously not get it started yet because I want to you know make sure I have enough room to put everything in but I want to get things like you know make sure I have obviously fuel tanks and have the yeah. engine and all that kind of put in and the propellers on and all that kind of stuff and then I can worry about you know hooking it all together mm -hmm. once I have them all in place make sure you keep enough room for three gearboxes in there yeah will do Oh, pumping fuel out if you don't have a fuel pump takes forever. Probably be faster just to fill up a load of buckets and pour it in. <laughs> I'm trying to pump it out. Alright, well as this is ticking away, I'll be right back. Cool. 